YouTube Familam, is y'all ready for this? Like seriously, loaded chicken hoagie recipe. Stay tuned. What's goody, my YouTube family, and welcome back to another video with me, Chef Tish. Me, Chef Tish. Y'all, I was washing dishes. If you see my shirt at the bottom, that's just water. Don't trip. Okay, so y'all, on the menu today, chicken hoagies low bid loaded chicken hoagies cheesy deliciousness we out here in these streets let's get it done so i went ahead already and prepped everything for you guys um we are starting with some chicken breasts already nice and washed and um i just sliced them up took a nice sharp knife just sliced them up you know they're not uh, perfectly uniform it doesn't matter because we go stuff these bad boys in a hoagie it's gonna be all good so lay that on there just like that on our griddle we're using our griddle today okay get your meat on there hope everyone is doing spectacular today thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and comment what you would like for me to do don't be shy. Comment down below. Okay, y'all. So this is regular, again, regular chicken breast. Nothing fancy. Chicken breast, just sliced up. That's it. And usually for my, um, usually for my hoagies, I like to, um, run my chicken through the food processor and kind of just like grind it up. But we are going another route today. Cause that can be a, a process. You can already, you can buy your chicken like already ground it up. But I like grinding it up myself in my food processor. So, okay y'all, we got our chicken on. Now we are just gonna give it a drizzle of some olive oil. Just a drizzy drizzy, just a drizzy drizzy. Okay, let's start seasoning. I'm going in with my, I put that on everything, all-purpose seasoning. I'm going to sprinkle on some of my hot, and I'm going to sprinkle on some of my regular. So, let's get that. This is the regular. All you need. That's all you need. And then let's get a little bit of that hot on there for a little kickity kick. And y'all know I love my black pepper, so I'm going in with some extra black pepper. Just like that. And let's give it a nice little twist. Got my griddle on 350. Try not to make a mess. I just want to get this stirred up a little bit so the seasonings can start getting all within that chicken. This is going to be good, y'all. This is going to be bomb. Okay. Easy peasy. So now, what we want to do, you know what, I'm going to go in with, because we want flavorful food, right? So I'm going in with a little bit more of the regular all-purpose, just like that. And now we're just going to let this cook, you guys, until it is nice and golden brown and done. And then after this, we are going to get our veggies on, get those nice and sauteed. Then we are going to make us a nice little hoagie sauce. We are gonna toast our bun. We are, it's gonna, listen. I'm excited, I'm excited. Y'all stay tuned. All right, my YouTube family. So you see what our chicken is looking like? It's almost time to take this off. It is nice and seasoned. And all you have to do too, 
which is spatula. If you want smaller um, chunks, just take your spatula as you're stirring it and just use the edge of that spatula to chop them up if you want them smaller. So this chicken is done. This chicken is nice and done. So what I'm gonna do is take this off and we are gonna get started on our veggies. I just wanted to come back you guys to show you guys how good that chicken looks. This is exactly what you're looking for. Nice and seared, seasoned, juicy chicken breasts. So let's take this off, you guys. And once I get this all off, I'll be back to show you guys the next step. This recipe is so easy. All right, team, my beautiful YouTube fam. So now we have all of our beautiful chicken breasts off. Nice and seasoned deliciousness. Okay, so now let's get started on our veggies. So, I already went ahead and ooh, chopped up some veggies for you guys. We have our white onion. This is a whole white onion and one whole green bell pepper. We're going to get these on our griddle. Boom. We also have some beautiful mushrooms. I'm using what I had left over. I have, um, this is baby portabella and shiitake that I had left over, already nice and rinsed and clean. Let's get those on there as well. I love mushrooms. I'm not even gonna chop them up because I like them big like that. Okay. And I'm not, I also too, you guys have some mild banana peppers, but I'm not going to add those just yet. I'm going to wait a minute, but I am going to get a little bit of this juice on there from the banana peppers. And we're also going to go in with a sprinkle of olive oil. Also for our veggies. Okay, and let's season, this is, let's season our veggies with something different, just to build up the flavor profile. So what do you think we should go with, y'all? Let's go with some, am I blocking the camera? Okay, let's go with some, make sure y'all can see. Make sure y'all can see. All right, let's go with some granulated garlic. We're just trying to build up flavors here. Okay, we're gonna go with some garlic and oh, this is good stuff. A sprinkle of this. The um Sasson Tropical is so freaking delicious. Wait, let me just a little bit because I don't want orange veggies. And you know this turns your food orange, so just a just a sprinkle of that. Okay. And let's use some. What else can we use? Oh, this should be good too. Some six pepper blend. Yes. Yes, please, and thank you. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's give our veggies a nice stick. Nothing like cozy night, y'all. Nothing like cozy night. Get those mushrooms over there. Trying to be careful because I don't want all my vegetables ending up in this little cup here. The cup that catches the grease. I hate when I spill food in there. Trying to be real careful. See that just flew over there? Almost got in there. Okay, so... Take them and just spread them out. Okay, so they can cook nice and evenly. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so, we go add a another splash of olive oil. Oh, that smells. Oh, that smells good. More olive oil. 
Okay, and we're just gonna let these the veggies get out to the tank. And I will be back. Okay, my YouTube fam, it is time to build this bad boy. Now, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to dump some of our chicken back on. Okay. Gonna make one for you guys right now. Cook one up for y'all right now. Boom, there's our chicken. Here's our beautiful veggies. They came out perfect. We got our banana peppers in there, our onions, and our mushrooms, and our green bell pepper. Add those back in. Just like that. Combine that up. Oh, this is going to be a meaty, meaty. It's gonna be a meaty. Okay. It's gonna be a big boy. Okay, so we basically just incorporate in our vegetables, y'all, within our chicken. That's all. Just trying to make sure it's nice and well incorporated, y'all. Okay. So let me put this over here. Because I am about to make room for our beautiful bun. Just like that. Now on this side, let's take some butter. Like to melt it. Okay. Because that's the side we're gonna toast our bun. We're using some beautiful Costanza rolls. Perfect hoagie roll. Okay. Get that butter nice and spread it evenly. Let's see if our butter fit. Perfect. Make sure you sop up all that butter. You want all that butter on that bun. Okay, so we letting our bun toast. Bow, 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 bow. Now, let's get to the cheese of things. We are using American, white American cheese, and we are also using pepper jack. So, let's get my cheese open. See how easy it was, y'all? So easy. All right. Let's get the thorn on our cheese. Because all this meat is going into one hoagie. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's open up our other cheese which is acting like it don't want to open. Let me get some scissors. And you could just use, if one cheese is enough for you, just use one cheese. I'm just gonna do two slices of the pepper jack just for a little extra twang. Okay. Let's check on our bun. A little bit more toasty. That a little bit more toasty. We're letting that melt now. See, and this is what happens when you buy real cheese. You see how that's already melting nice and good? Beautifully. Let me get a pan. And do a little trick to melt this cheese even faster. Got a little bit of water in this pan. I'm just gonna sprinkle right here on the top. I'm gonna take my pan and I'm gonna cover it just like that. 
All right. Let's check our hoagie. A little bit more toastier. Then this is the low side of the griddle, and this is the hot side, y'all. So it's taking a little minute for my bun to get as toasty as I like. So major, 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 major key with my hoagies. After I assemble them, I wrap them in foil and put them in the oven for about five to 10 minutes. That makes everything just melt together. It just comes out perfect. So let's check on this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yes. I hope y'all can see a good view of that. Y'all know I'm gonna show y'all a close up at the end though. Ooh, my goodness. Let's see. Perfect. See that y'all? Nice toasted bun. So now, put my bun on my foil. I already went ahead and made my secret hoagie sauce off camera. So I'm going to sprinkle some of that on this bun. Okay. You don't want no dry hoagie, okay? You really don't. Now, they're gonna take our, they're gonna messy part. Hopefully I don't get too messy. Let's take our cheesy meat. Look at that. Look at that. It's all right though. Okay, let's take our meat. And just put it right on over that bread. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Oh my goodness, look at it. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna scoop. Whoops. Y'all. Oh my. Y'all, do y'all see? Uh -uh. Hold on. I gotta take the camera off the tripod because I need for y'all to see this before it even go in the oven. Y'all, this is gonna be so bomb. Wait, y'all. Y'all. Look at this before it even goes in the oven. Good night. Wait till I show y'all the finished result. Stay tuned. Oh my God. Okay, my beautiful YouTube fam. You know I gotta give you guys the finished result to look. So, let's unwrap this bad boy. Holy moly. Packed with it's bread there, y'all. It's bread. Go ahead and take you a bite of the egg. Okay, let me lift it up for you. Go ahead. Eat. Boom. Y'all, would y'all look at this chicken hoagie? Like seriously get into it. Seriously get into the sauce, the cheesiness. Like seriously. Let me see. Like this joint, you might have to eat this digger the other side of the bread. Oh my gosh. You guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Focus up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed.